The Faith and Fire with Megan Fortner podcast aims to light a fire that not only sheds light on who you are, what you have, and what you can do because you choose Christ, but also spreads as a contagious spirit of faith that has to be caught. We want you to live the life God has for you and for you to receive all that awaits you. Megan's goal is to use Facebook Live conversations and testimony each week to teach you to grow in faith, hope, love, and authority while stoking your fire to fight the fight of faith. Welcome to the Faith and Fire podcast with Megan Fortner. Listen, I've been battling God for a few days now. Uh, He's been wanting me to uh, speak. And uh, one word of advice, don't ever fight against God because he wins every time. Uh, He wanted me to come on here and encourage a lot of people because there's a lot of people going through some storms right now, dealing with a lot of stuff in their life, okay? And you're not alone. So what I want to say is this. So God's been laying it heavy on my heart about storms, opposition, everything, and how to overcome this, how to rise above this, how to take your, take your stand in Christ. And um, man, I, I fought him and I fought him and I fought him and I fought him. Okay, I did. I, I didn't want to. And then so the other night, you know, I was like, all right, God, I'll, I'll do it. So I sat there in my bedroom, spoke a whole sermon about rising up, taking a stand in the Lord, overcoming every single obstacle that comes your way, not getting mad, not getting angry, not hating nobody, not talking against somebody, not running your mouth, not gossiping, not any of those things, okay? So I stood up in my room and I did it. And I'm like, all right, God, I did what you wanted me to do. We're good, right? We're good. Last night, God's like, Megan, I need you to do this. I'm like, no, God already did it. This morning, Megan, I need you to do this. No, God, I'm not ready. And he goes, you're ready. You're ready. I listened to David Crowder this morning on the song, We're Ready. I was like, come on, God. Like, I'm not comfortable in doing this. He says, you're ready. Stand up. Help those that are out there right now that need this push, that need this help. Show them how to get through it. All right, God. So I'm driving and um, I'm at my sister's house. I'm going to sit here and visit with her. My son is trying to jump out of the car. I mean, we're parked, okay? He's just trying to get out before me. And I'm like, all right, God, what do you want me to say? I'm here to tell you when opposition powers and principalities come against you and it comes against you hard when you're dealing with a loss that your heart just can't take when you're dealing with frustration and anger and anxiety and depression and anything that you're dealing with that's coming against you and it's not just one it's multiple it's many it's everything that's coming against you you take your stand in the rock and in God his word is the truth his word will set you free his word is victory his word is freedom the spirit of the Lord lives inside of us guys the spirit of the Lord is our authority and you take your stand in Christ you don't don't back down. You don't give up. You don't give in. When you're standing there in that room with all of that depression and all of that fear and everything welling up on the inside of you, you say, no, ha ha ha, not today, devil, not today, not ever, not nothing. You're not going to get my family. You're not going to get my kids. You're not going to get me. You're not going to get anything because I know what the word says. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Listen, guys, weapons are going to form. Take your stand in Christ. Get your confession of faith. Don't let you stand on the rock of Christ. Don't you dare plant your feet in the sand. Don't you dare feel comfortable by hearing everything that comes your way. You take a stand right now in the Lord. There are people, like I said, dealing with loss. They lost a family member. Let me tell you, it's rough. It's hard. I've been there. But Christ is by your side 
every single day. If you're not feeling him, you take a check of how far you came from him. Because I'm telling you, he will speak to you. He will love you. He will guide you. He will direct you. And when you're hurt, when you're hurting, give it to him. Don't you say a word. Because when our feelings are hurt, we can say many things that isn't what God wants. And you make sure that your words and your thoughts line up with what God says it should line up with. With what God tells you to line up with. Don't you dare say a word until you've given it to Christ first. Let me tell you guys, he's going to guide you. He's going to strengthen you. He said he is close to those who are crushed in spirit. He is close to those who are mourning. He is our provider. He has seated us in heavenly places. He will never leave us nor forsake us. Just like I said the other day with the snake bite. Guys, snakes are going to bite. Don't look at that as a downfall. Don't look at that as a backpedal. You push through and you keep working. And you keep telling and speaking the word of God against everything. And you keep pleading that blood. You keep pleading the blood of Jesus over every single thing, no matter what, no matter how tormented or no matter how far or how hard it gets. You plead the blood. You stand in Jesus. You speak Jesus' name and you praise and you praise. You praise through the tears. You praise through the storm. You speak and you, oh my gosh, guys, if I can say anything right now, no storm, no trial, no nothing is over God. If you stand in the victory, if you stand in Christ and in his word, and you confess it every single day, you will win. No matter what, you will win. We don't know what God has in store for us. We don't know the trials. We don't know what he's trying to teach us through this, but you ask him because he will show you. So I'm here today to tell you, no matter what you're dealing with, no matter what you're going through, you are over it. You are above it. You are loved. You are cherished. You put your feet on the rock of Christ. You give those thoughts to Christ. Any thought, you take it captive that does not line up with the word. I'm telling you right now, God, God is for you. He's not against you. It may look like it because everything's coming. But let me tell you, if you believe in God, that devil is going to come after you and he's going to come after you and he's going to figure out a way and he's going to try and he's going to try. But you are strong in the Lord and you're going to stand up and you're going to say, ha ha, not today, devil, not any day, even though it may look like I'm losing, I'm never losing because in Christ is your freedom and in Christ is the victory. Don't stop. Stand in the Lord and you are not alone. I am praying for you every day. I pray against the devil, plead the blood and know love never fails. Love prevails all the time. No matter what, if somebody's nasty at you, if somebody's coming at you, remember it's not them. It's the power and principality of the devil and you continue to walk in love because love never fails and love will turn away any angry thing that comes your way. I am here to testify against this and I give God all the glory, but I'm telling you, equip yourself with the word, equip yourself with God, get in prayer, praise, listen to worship music and listen to other preachers that'll speak to your heart. Guys, get equipped, renew your mind every day and every single day you get up, you put that full armor of God on every day to fan back every fiery dart that comes your way from the devil because you are planted on the rock of Jesus. You are planted in the rock. You will not waver. You will not crack. You will not back down. You will fight the devil to the end because he's already defeated and you are seated in heavenly places with Christ and Christ is above it all and he's in you. Get in the word. The word was breathed on paper to breathe back into you. It's mouth to mouth resuscitation. As Pastor Mark says, you've got this. The blood is applied. Apply the blood. And I am here for you. You need anything, reach out. I will pray for you. I will encourage you. And I love you. Guys, stand on the word because Jesus will never leave us or forsake us. He's always with us. And we are planted on the rock. All right? God wanted you to know that. There's somebody out here right now dealing with trials or dealing with loss or dealing with something. And they're in that spot where the devil thinks he's got you. But he ain't got you. Release that and laugh in his face and put your foot on his head and say, you've already lost. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. All right, guys. I had to do it. God wasn't going to let me stop. I love every one of you. And if you need anything, I'm here for you. And you are a child of God. And you are loved. Don't ever feel that you're not. Have a blessed day, guys. Thanks for joining us for the Faith and Fire podcast with Megan Fortner. We look forward to having you again next week on YouTube or your favorite podcast platform.
Each episode comes from a live conversation Megan will have with folks that have a story to tell pointing to the faith and fire that only comes from Jesus. Share it with your friends and we'll see you next time on Faith and Fire with Megan Fortner.